This week I really wanted to talk about slow fashion, my own ideas on it and specifically what I have found to be, for me personally, slow fashion game changers. This channel is about me sharing my style journey. I've had various relationships with fashion over the years but it's a constant in my life and I definitely know that dressing well makes me feel really great but as time has moved on I think I've realised also understanding how that impacts things outside of me is really important too. Let's get into it shall we? Kicking things off with I think my favourite reworked classics specifically secondhand classics there is so many secondhand men's shirts and blazers out there and for me those are classics they'll be around forever they'll never go out of style they're worth investing time and money into because they're really gonna be the backbone of your wardrobe i just think that having things with a little bit of detail things you can really play with things that you can change up that you don't get bored of allows you to have less items in your wardrobe and keeps what you do have interesting. All of the things that I have to say about my experience with trying to slow down and how I navigate that always come back to that idea that you just need to practice having less. But if you feel like you're a bit bored or you feel like things aren't working out or the outfits that you put together just aren't making you feel great, I end up feeling like I'm lacking. And then I think, oh, there's a gap to fill. Let me go have a browse. Let me see what I can buy. When I'm wearing reworked fashion, the things I make specifically, I really do feel clever, special, creative. Those are really basic words to describe somebody, but that is how I feel. And most of the way I dress now is not necessarily looking full length in the mirror. It's more about how do I feel wearing this. I like oversized things. They make me feel powerful. So secondhand is great for that. But to make it not feel just like I raided my father's closet, I change it up. Make it modern, make it fresh. To me, that makes it feel new. And to this day, I'm, I think I've had things that I've reworked for years now. And I'm still wearing them and love them. The next point is that I now buy smart basics. Everyone, I think, has their own personal basics. I don't think basics means a tank top, a t-shirt, that kind of thing. You decide what is the base of all your outfits that really brings things together. Then whatever those items are, make sure they're interesting. I'm going to take jeans for example. I love a good pair of jeans. They're a basic for me. I don't wear them all that often, currently now in the summer, it's a little bit hot, but the ones I do have all have something special about them. Be them super baggy, pleating detail, crossover detail, something. Something that makes them a little bit more than just your classic basic pair of jeans. And because they have these cool details in them, if I'm wearing it paired back to a vest top or a t-shirt, I don't have to work that hard but my outfit already feels special. Also, if they've got these details in them, they're almost outside of trends. They're almost modern forever, I find. Similarly to the shirt details that I do or the blazer details that I do, they stay modern forever. Well, I think so anyway. They're not the latest slash jeans or the latest uh, colored denim or anything like that. It's a modern detail that I think will live forever. And then I only want to pick up that pair of jeans, so I find myself not needing any new pairs. The next point is quite simply realizing that I can't have everything. I think I have been prone to this idea of the perfect wardrobe and that it needs to have this and this and this. At times I've gotten to that point and still felt I needed something more. There's no end game to that. <laughs> the harsh truth is that you can't have everything. You can't look like everybody else. It's a tricky thing because we are programmed to want to look great and want new things. But now there's this other conversation about figuring out our personal style, but it's all been a bit warped by what happens out there in retail and the fashion industry and online and on Instagram and all these things. We're all a bit confused, I think. The best I can say is that when I find myself thinking, I really need that, that thing is gonna change my wardrobe or that thing is going to make me feel really fresh I take a step back and realize there's always going to be something that I think is going to make me feel really fresh and elevate my wardrobe and make it feel complete it's never ending you literally just have to step away and tell yourself I can't have everything next up is realizing that secondhand fashion isn't always best 
bear with me. Choosing secondhand fashion over fast fashion or something else is of course always better. I myself am a lover and I have made secondhand fashion the basis of my little side hustle. Definitely here for it. But what I really mean is that I've always given myself the excuse that if you're shopping secondhand, you can just shop. At times where I shouldn't be shopping or I don't need anything new, I'll browse Depop, browse eBay, browse Vinted, have a look and end up just feeling like I need to purchase something just because I've been on the app for so long. End up finding something, tell myself, convince myself that, oh, you love classic pleated trousers, get these. But it ends up being perhaps a style from the 90s, maybe the crotch is too short or I got the sizing wrong. It's not really what I'm looking for. I really favor a modern aesthetic. I have stopped giving myself the excuse that just because it's secondhand, oh, just get it, oh, it's cheap. Secondhand is not always best. I would rather say considered purchasing. Considered purchasing for me is about shopping outside of the season. If you're in summer, shop for winter. You'll often get great deals and that sort of thing. A lot of things will be on sale and they'll be cheaper. But you'll also not be buying for the moment or be buying because you just feel the need to buy something. I often find that when I'm shopping secondhand, if I'm browsing on an app, I am trying to find something and it's that addiction to the hunt that I really like. Anything that feeds into that addiction for me of like just needing something new or getting something and then trying to justify it by, oh, it's secondhand, it's sustainable or anything like that is for me a very, very red zone that I try and stay out of. And my final point, plan ahead, baby. I love doing this. Mostly it's things that I never will really wear, but it takes the place of shopping for things that I also will never really wear. There's this myth I've been dealing with personally that I have this fabulous life where I need to have all these fabulous outfits and all these street style fashion week type moments. And I constantly fantasize about the outfits that I'll wear. And in reality, I don't need these things. I don't go to places like this. I don't do things like that. It's just a dream. However, by coming up with great outfit ideas. I'll put them together, play around, take some pics, and I'll bank them for if I get the opportunity to go somewhere, or if I get the opportunity to go on a fabulous night out or something. I'll take the things in my wardrobe that I wear on the daily anyway, and just add clever things and earrings, or style it in a sexier way. I've really been drawn to like wearing just a bra under a blazer. I've never tried that before. I put it together and then I put it away. And then if I ever feel like I need to get something for a party or I'm going to a wedding. I'm not sure I'd wear the bralette thing to a wedding but you get the gist. If those occasions do pop up I'm gonna go back to the things that I've already planned and go hey I can make my original normal wardrobe that I wear on the daily work for this and not have to get anything new and likely feel way more comfortable and look a little bit more interesting than just going out and purchasing some random occasion dress. Okay, let's round this up and likely make you realize that this video could have been drastically shorter than what it is. For me, those rework classics make things interesting and elevated basics with modern details make me feel less boring. And less boring more of the time basically works out to less purchasing and the need for something new. The reality, can't have everything. And just because it's secondhand doesn't mean you need to buy it. Just because I'm shopping sustainably or secondhand doesn't mean I can do it at a faster pace. That's just perpetuating my already unstable shopping habits. Not good. And my favorite one, planning those creative outfit combos. I have so much fun doing that. Whether I'm doing it in my head or actually physically on my body, it is a good time when we dress up and play with fashion. I'm here for it, I'm into it, and I always feel like I have something to wear. Well, that's the idea anyway, I hope. And uh, that's time well spent. Slow fashion is a tricky one and everyone has their own bit to say. Now you know mine, comment below. Let me know what you do. Just to hear the sound Someone still